think it goes into... It's just going to be a complete guess on my part. I think the HDMI cable goes in here. I've got a very elaborate HDMI setup, by the way. Hang on. Trying to try to reach that, please. Go in. There we go. Right, I got it. Hey, there we go. The stream is saved. Thank God. Right, it was that. That was the problem. So yeah, there, there you go. I haven't used the SNES Mini in like <laughs> quite some time actually. This thing is cool. Like I've got a SNES Mini and I've got an NES Mini. There's a lot of games on here, but more importantly, we're going to be playing Super Mario RPG, which is... Oh hey, Parodius is on here. I didn't even realise. Actually, wait a minute. No, I, I soft modded this, didn't I? I mean, this is a totally legit thing. What are you talking about? Yeah, of course Goof, Goof Trip was on here. It always has been. Obviously. So yeah, um, let me go... I believe it's in here. Ah, right, I see. Right, so... If I go in here, I think... So it's under S, so we need to go look for it real quick. I completely forgot that I soft modded this thing, but yeah, um, the game should be in here somewhere. Did I pass it? Wait. Did that? No, I haven't passed it. Sorry, I, sorry, I thought I went past Super already. There it is. Right, okay then. So here we go, Super Mario RPG, a classic. Oh, that's a nice bottle. So yeah, I haven't played this in a long fucking ass time. Like, I haven't played this in at least a decade, maybe longer. This is a great game. Again, this was the birth of Mario RPGs, and it also has a lot of the, the hallmark tropes that you would see in later Paper Marios in, like, Mario and Luigi's. Like, you know, the, the humour, the gameplay. Like I said, pretty much all of that came from this. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Super Mario! It's my best impression of the, the Smash Brothers announcer. I hope we get some more Mario and Luigi games. If we do, it's not going to be made by, by Alpha Dream, like that company went defunct. I'd love to see a new Mario and Luigi, but it's going to be... It, it's going to be... Like... I don't know if I have faith in whoever would develop it if Alpha Dream aren't the ones making it. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Like, they've always been making Mario and Luigi, and having them not make it is going to be a weird thing to think about. I don't know, maybe maybe if they do make a new one, it will actually be good. Let's hope. Right, so here's Mallow. Oh, so... This music goes well with the distraction dance over there on the left. I'm surprised this game isn't on Nintendo Switch Online yet. You know, I say that, and Nintendo's probably gonna fucking put it on there in like a week. It's like they'll do a Nintendo Direct, and it's like, oh, here you go. Here, here you go, here's Super Mario RPG. On the Switch today, and I'll be like, fuck. Oh, so there's that one guy that people lose their shit over. And got really fucking angry that he didn't make it into Smash Bros. the playable character. Yes, Yoshis are in this game. Also, check this out. Whoa, Mod 7 graphics! Of course, it wouldn't be a Mario game without the Bows. So, there he is, King Bowser. Also, this intro might be considered mild spoilers because it does show you certain parts from certain bits of the game. But I'm, I'm just going to go watch it anyway. Birdo makes an appearance as well.
I forgot how long this intro was. Like, you'd think it would be like, oh, here's the here's the first few characters. Okay, now we can start the game. No, they they really they really show you a lot of this. Music's a banger though. Is that a blark? Oh yeah, of course, we have Princess Peach as well. I mean, Princess Toadstool. Yeah, that's right, this was before Mario 64, so that makes sense. So yeah, I've been waiting a while to play Super Mario RPG. I wanted to make sure there was a bit of time between me finishing Paper Mario and this. You know, so that I could like properly enjoy this and not get burnt out on playing like a big Mario RPG. I don't know when I'll do, like, a, a couple years ago I did like some Mario and Luigi games. I don't know when I'm going to do the next one. Maybe I'll do it next year or something. Because the next one, like, because I did the first three on stream, the next one would be Dream Team, wouldn't it? I'll eventually maybe do that one, but for now we're gonna do this. Oh, I need to go up there first and like register my name. It's like Zelda. Alright, M-E-L-E-E. -E. Just be boring. Yeah, next it's Dream Team and then Paper Jam. Right, got ya. You can also tell that this game was very much, like, the the art direction of this game was very much influenced by Donkey Kong Country. I wouldn't be surprised if they used the same workstations that, you know, the, what are they called, Silicon Graphics Computer uh, stations or whatever, the ones that Rare used to, like, you know, make the pre-rendered sprites for Donkey Kong Country. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Square Enix invested in some of those to make this game. Actually, now that I remember, isn't there like a fucking enemy in this game that just looks like a, a, a Donkey Kong? Almost, like it almost looks exactly like DK. Right, so standard Mario procedure, like Princess Toadstool gets kidnapped by Bowser, we're storming his castle to rescue her. So yeah, that's pretty much the story of the game. And of course it's an RPG, so turn-based fights, so... We can do a special jump, we can pick items, we can defend or run, and of course we can do a standard attack. So you think these guys are called Koopas? Or like Koopa Troopas? No, they're called Terrapins. Also, they don't tell you about it this early in the game, but if you press the A button on the right moment, you do more attack, attack damage than usual. They actually do tell you about that at some point in the game, they just don't tell you about it this early on. I think the toad tells you about it like 10 minutes into the game. Also, if you press the A button when you're being attacked, you can increase your defense. Yeah, if you see Mario ducking now, that means I timed it. So yeah, playing this on the SNES Mini, it works pretty well. The, like, the latency is good, it feels responsive and easy to play. Also, I love the, the gradual shifting colours of the border. Like, it's, it's slow and gradual enough that it's not distracting, but it's nice to look at. And, you know, it fills out the background nicely. Nice, get a free attack there. Excellent. So I can't bring my status screen up yet, I have to like go through this segment first before I can actually see my stats. No 
nobody's here. Or at least it would appear that way until you look upwards. There he is! Also, I always like this, like, this Bowser music, like the, the Bowser fight from, like, Mario 3. Like, you don't hear this song getting remixed very often in, like, Nintendo games. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond! Alright, so, boss fight. So, you can attack Bowser, but I think you're supposed to attack this thing called a Kink Link. Now would be a good time to use my special jump, actually. There we go. What was that sound? Th no! It's a chain reaction! Minus two. <coughs> Sorry. My throat's still a bit sore from me screaming at Sonic Generations. You coming, Mario? Oh. Fight, Mario! Fight! This should finish you! Also, nice callback to Super Mario Bros. 1, when Bowser would throw hammers at you. Also, look at Bowser's face here. <laughs> I love that expression. Ah! Did you think I was just gonna give her to you? Also, weren't they just like six feet off the ground? Why the fuck are they falling forever into an endless abyss? You're always in my way! That is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Funga! Foiled again. Again, weren't they just like a couple feet off the ground? Why are they so high up now? <laughs> it makes no sense. Oh, Mario. You had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Shriek, Mario, I'm going to fall. Alright, so... This is where the standard Mario story ends, and this is where shit gets real. So for some reason, this happens. Just a giant ass fucking sword going right through Bowser's castle. And there's the title drop, so yep, this is where things begin. And there's the titular Legendary Seven Stars. Pipe House. I'm guessing this is Mario's house. It looks almost exactly like the house from, like, Super Mario, or rather, sorry, I misread the name, uh, Paper Mario? Not Super Paper Mario. My bad. Hey, Mario! Lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came by to pick up Toadstool since she's a bit late. So I think you can just hold... Uh, you, like, if you press the A button, you jump off here. If you don't press anything, you just stay there. I don't know if anything funny happens if I just stay there, so I'm gonna wait a moment just to see if, the, if anything does happen. Could you imagine if somebody made like an 8 hour long play of this game and then this would be the entire video? It would just be somebody just hanging here for 7 hours or so. Like for dozens and dozens of hours. It's like 30 to 40 hour Super Mario RPG long play. You click on it, you check it, it's just this for 40 hours. Anyway, yeah, nothing happens, so... I think I can check my stats now. Yeah, there we go. Right now I can see what I've got. Don't have any items yet. There's my stats. Level 1, HP 20. Stomp foes, press Y just before the hits. Equip, got nothing yet. Special item, nothing yet. I think that's key items. Oh, hey there, Albie. Yeah, you're just in time. I just started the game. 
Mega Mario's pad. I'm playing this on my SNES Mini, which yes, I have one of those. Also, Mario and Toad just merged. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario. So, where is she? What's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Ah shit, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Alright, let's go and get her then. Right, to Bowser's keep we go. Halt, who goes there? A trespasser. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first step to taking. It's our first step towards taking over this world. I, I don't know what accent or voice to give this guy. And if it weren't for, for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. <laughs> I like. I like how fast his mouth moves there. So yeah, Mario can't get in the castle anymore, so now we have to figure out how to get in there. Time to give Toad the bad news. You're back so soon! Did you forget something? No? What happened then? The bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now. Just wonderful. One thing I love about this game is, you know, how Mario, like, pantomimes everything. Like, that's something that I always really enjoyed about this game. We must inform the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Right, let's go see the Chancellor. Let me save real quick. But yeah, there's a lot of moments in this game where Mario, like, like, he's a mute in this game. He does not speak a single word. So during certain parts of the game, he like just, you know, has to pantomime everything he has to explain to people. Oops, excuse me. Oh? That bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. Receive the mushroom. Do you know how to use this? Of course I do. Oh, I see. You're just so well-traveled and experienced, Mario. Uh, now what did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Ah, I remember. I came to warn you that Mushroom's, Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Oh, hang on a minute. Before we continue, I need to fix something real quick. One sec. Don't worry, this won't take a million years. It's just one simple, like, tweak to my picture settings. Right, there we go. You probably didn't notice it, but I made the, the pixels look a bit more sharp. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about timed hits? Yes. Hey, you better watch out. He knows about timed hits. <laughs> I like how he just turns back to the Goomba to warn him about that. He's gonna punch your lights out. Goomba's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. He's got more bark than bite, huh? Uh, now, what did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Oh, that's right. We need to tell the chan, chan the, we need to tell the Chancellor about Toadstool. I'll see you over at the Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. Three mushrooms. Alright. Did I get to keep that other mushroom that I had as well? Yeah, okay, so I've got four of them. You know what I find amusing? The goal of this game is to get to Bowser's castle, but the bridge is out. So you have to you have to take the longest friggin' detour in existence to get there. Yeah, pretty much. Like that's that is quite funny. Oh yeah, jumping on enemies doesn't get you a free hat. It's not like Mario and OBG or Paper Mario. Right, so here's the battle music. Again it slaps. This game's soundtrack is great. 
So how much experience do I need to level up? Next one at 14. Right, so I'll level up once before I go further because I think there's a mini boss not too long from here. There we go. Oh, nice. Sometimes if you kill enemies, you get freebies like that. Sometimes it increases, it gives you your HP back. Sometimes it gives you a free turn. Alright, here's our first Koopa Troopa. Sky Troopa. There we go. Watching a task of this game is always hilarious, because in this game, sometimes when you use items in battle, there's a small chance you immediately get them back for free. Oh, I see. I didn't know about that. So the task just keeps using a screen a screen wipe item in every battle and keeps getting it back with RNG. <laughs> right. For some reason in this game the question mark blocks are like chests. I guess to keep with the tone of like an RPG. I mean this is made by Square Enix after all. Nice. Should be getting my level up very shortly. It's either after this fight or the next one. You should try a special attack, I'm saving it for the mini-boss, which isn't too far from here. Phew, my life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. Received a honey syrup, so I believe that recovers your flower points, which are this game's magic points. Sometimes you get coins from enemies as well. Nice. I'm glad I held off on healing myself. Like, I was aware I had 6 HP left, I was just... I was either going to wait until the last moment to use it, or I was just going to wait and hope that I would get an HP max out of that. So now because I waited, I've got, a, you know, a spare mushroom. Right, so this will seem familiar to people that have played Paper Mario, so after you level up, you pick one of three stats to boost. Power, HP, or I think that increases your special points or whatever. Wait, what does this one do again? Does anyone know? Does this just give you more flower points, or what? You can press the A button once to see what it does. This is for flower points. Oh, it increases your magic status, right? So magic attacks and mag magic defense go up, right? Uh, I'm gonna increase my raw power for now. We're just gonna go for them one by one, I guess. So I'll pick just like regular attack power.
Oh, different attack. I forgot the Goombas can do that. You can just shoot spikes out of the mouse for some reason. I think that's like a, an extra flower in my inventory. Oh. If we ever get another Smash Brothers game in the future, do you think we'll see Gino as a playable character? Like, it's just funny to me how Gino is still not in Smash Brothers. You know, despite the fact that, like, Smash Ultimate is meant to be, well, the ultimate Smash Brothers game that has, like, every character from the past. And it, like, has some, like, you know, franchise first that you never thought you would see, like, Ridley and whatnot. Yet Gino and Waluigi still get shafted. Like, I love it. It's great. No? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either, to be honest. I'll be surprised if we get Gino in a future Smash Brothers. Part of me wonders if, like, Sakurai is just trolling people by deliberately not having, you know, people like Gino and Waluigi in there. Like, he's probably, like, thought about it and be like, you know what, it's probably more fun not to have those characters in there and just see people lose their shit and get, like, upset. Sakurai can be the ultimate troll sometimes. Boy, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. A flower tab? What does that do? Oh, I see. There we go. I'm just gonna fight every enemy along the way so I can level up sooner. At least they gave Gino some kind of treatment by making him a legend slash four star spirit. I, I guess that's true. Isn't he also like a me fighter or something? Like his like his costume is like a me fighter skin. Oh. But yeah, no, pe people like there, there are people out there that are genuinely genuinely like yeah. If if Gino is not a playable character, we riot. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna have to take another hit there, but now we're good. Checking for secrets. This game has a lot of little secrets tucked away in certain spots. Okay, so these guys are spinies, but they look really fucking weird in this game. They're like more anthropomorphized, like little Meta Knight style spinies in this game. Oh, they're called Spiky, sorry. Hey, look, everyone, that's Morpho Knight. I like that Mario is now strong enough to kill the Koopa Troopas in one hit if he does like the, the you know, the timed attack. Oh. Oh yeah, they do kind of look like those like robots from Sonic 1. They look a little bit like that. Should be due for a level up soon. Let's see, how close am I to leveling up? 15. 15 more experience should do it. Plus, I'm getting more items as well, which is great. Lucky! So I think lucky means that at the end of this fight, I have the chance to double my prize. 
it's like a mini game where it's basically pick the right Yoshi in one of the three eggs or some shit like that. Yeah, here it is. Double your experience. Challenge the system. Win big or lose it all. Fuck it, let's do it. Right, so there's Yoshi. Ah. Right, well if you get a tie you don't lose anything, so that's fine. I still get to keep the experience that I want to begin with. If you lose, you, you don't get any experience. Alright, clean fight. Couple more fights should do it. I think. So do you guys think we're going to see a new Zelda game this year? Or when I say new Zelda game, I mean like just any kind of Zelda game, like whether it's a port or a remake or something. Because Breath of the Wild 2 is not coming out this year and apparently Nintendo has released a, a, at least one new Zelda thing every year for the last 15 years. So I'm guessing they, they've already planned out, okay, we're going to do this this year in Breath of the Wild 2 next year. So, maybe? I don't know. There has been rumours going around that we're going to get Twilight Princess and Wind Waker as like one package on Switch, which you know what, if that does happen, I'd be okay with that. Like, I would totally buy those again. Even though I already bought them on both the Wii U and the GameCube. Just because I love those games that much. Like, they're, they're both great games. You know what I would really love, though? I'd love for... Uh, Grezzo, like the people who did the Link's Awakening remake, I would love them to like actually do the Oracle games, like remake those, like that would be fantastic, but I don't know what the likelihood of that happening would be. Here's hoping that Grezzo has been cooking something up for like Zelda, because the most recent thing they did was like porting uh, Metopia to Switch. So they've probably been working on something else on the side. How much HP do I have left? Okay, I can still get away with a few hits. One more fight should do it. Uh-oh. Shit! I did not mean to do that. Can I, can I get away from this guy, or am I just stuck fighting him now? Hey, you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Mario, you better be careful, he's definitely got a mean streak. Oh, thank god. Right, okay. I thought there was more enemies over there, but I, I should have just... Uh, there he is. Drop, drop your spiny, please. Please? Why, why is he not dropping them anymore? I guess he forgets to drop them after you, you know, talk to that Koopa. That, that hammer bro, sorry. There we go. Oh, nice. Right, I learned my, my next magic attack, Fire Orb. Okay, so not only does power increase your attack, it also increases your defense. That's good to know. Right, I'm going to increase my magic attack and defense. Is my HP still... Oh, I actually went up to the top. Right, that's good. Right, just to be on the absolutely, just to be on the absolute safe side, I am gonna go back and save the game real quick. 
and then we'll fight him. Because if I die to him, then I'm gonna have to like do this whole thing again. So just to just to make sure that I don't fuck up. Just gonna save real quick and then run back to him. I think all the enemies will respawn, but I can just run by them very easily. Doesn't take much to get around them. Right, here we go. I think at level 3 I should be able to take on the, the hammer bro just fine. Right, here we go. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that! Right, here we go. The Hammer Bros. First enemy- first, first mini-boss in the game. I'm gonna save my magic points for the second half of the fight. Nice. You have to, like, time that attack. Like, when he does that special attack where he throws a bunch of hammers, you've got to, like, press it at a certain time. It's a little bit tricky. Thank god I remembered the timing of it. I love the mini-boss battle music in this game. Nice. Right, so far so good. Now I can just wail on the other one. What does Valor up mean? Does that increase the defense? Mash the Y button. There we go. Nice. Clean fight. You get lots of coins as well for beating them. 20 coins. Got a flower jar as well, which is good. I think that gives you recovers your flower points. Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast I wasn't watching where I was going. Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. It boosts the enemy's physical and magical defense. All right. Hey, where did this hammer come from? Hmm. Hey, do you know what this is? Look at the way Toad like interacts with this hammer. <laughs> it looks like he was about to fucking bop Mario over the head with it. It has the Hammer Bros insignia on it. No one stands a chance against this when you womp them with this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like uh, Mario's, like, expression here. Oh, hang on. That's a fucking Zelda pose if ever I've seen one. Like that right there. You never know, it might come in handy. Picked up him! Let's get a move on. I'll see you in the Mushroom Kingdom. Right, I think I need to actually equip it first. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, there we go. So... Oh, that increases my attack by 10. Nice. Wait, what was the description? Pounds enemies. <laughs> okay then. Pretty self-explanatory. play the theme. Uh, didn't feel like loading YouTube for that. Alright, here's the Mushroom Kingdom. I haven't seen Princess Toadstool lately. 
What? Bowser's got her again? I mean, it's only happened five million times. You shouldn't be surprised by that. Hey, Mario, my brother's, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. I love the music in this game. I'm going to turn this up a little bit, actually. This song's great. All I do is cook and clean. Ugh, ugh, chomp. I guess he's eating. One, two, three. Think if I practice enough, I'll jump as high as you, Mario. <laughs> yeah, right, kids. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> he just stops jumping. Holy shit. Super Mario, the crusher of dr hopes and dreams. Jesus Christ. Wait, what happens if I say yes? Sure. Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit. Hang on a second. Where is it? Hang on a minute, hang on. Terrible joke incoming. I made that exact joke twice on Sonic Colors, don't worry about it. I had that, like, already loaded. You jump on him? Oh my god. <laughs> now it's even better. Hey, did you see a crocodile around here? He talks like a mobster wannabe. I'm sure he's up to no good. Hey, wait a sec. My wallet's gone. Hey, Mario. Look. Look what you're standing in. Oh, you have to press the jump button there. Like, the, the button to advance the text was not working, so you had to press B to jump. That's kind of funny. Ha, gotcha. Could you imagine if, like, you know, a five-year-old or something played this game and they had no idea? You have to press the B button there and they honestly think the game is broken or something. It's like, oh, I love this game. It looks really cool, but I get to this one bit of dialogue and I can't fucking get past it. Like, I press the A button and it doesn't work. Raz. Why does this guy have a name? Hey, Mario, guess what? Rainy isn't just a friend anymore. We're getting married. Rainy. Do you happen to know of a good wedding chapel? I wonder if that's foreshadowing. Okay, so here's where you can uh, sleep. And you can also save the game here. And here's where you can buy items. Mario, what a pleasant surprise! One of Frogfish's... Fro frog, f frog, fuckius. Frog fishes his grandchildren is running errands in town today. I haven't seen him though. Oh, you're here to shop. What are you looking for? All right, let's see what we got. So this is armor from Mario. I suppose I can buy this. It's only seven coins. Able juice. Heal status problems during battle. Yeah, let's get one of those. Phoenix Town? That's that's quite cheap for that, actually. I'll get two of those. I think you can only carry so many items at once. I don't want to buy too much shit. Otherwise, I will not have room for other stuff later. Use jump attacks against any foe. So that's an accessory. Prevents poison damage. Hmm... So wait, what does this one mean? Does it mean I can jump on... Like, what does this mean exactly? I don't I don't get this description. Hmm. 
there's some enemies that you cannot use the jump on. Oh, right, well, maybe? I don't know. It's a lot of money, I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Right, let's get my gear on. Get your gear on! Oh yeah, guess what I saw today on YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. There hasn't been a fucking new episode in that in like over a year. It was nice to see a new one. Mario, hurry, the Chancellor awaits! Mario, there you are. I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. I'll wait for you down the hallway. I'll beat you first. Sir, Mario has arrived. Mario didn't have a shirt until now. Yeah, that, that's true, actually. I didn't think about that. Mario was shirtless for like 20 minutes. Mario, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud that I almost dropped my spores. Oh, I think something dropped in the other room. Hang on a second. Okay, so recently I bought a magnifying mirror for uh, for the bathroom. It's like a, a small mirror that magnifies so you, you know, can like have a closer look at your skin for, you know, certain reasons. Anyways, um, it comes with suction cups on the back that you basically stick it onto your like, you know, your like, like the, what, what do you call it? Like the, the drawer or whatever, like the, the big cupboard thing where you put all your like toiletries and stuff in. Anyway, that fucking- the suction cups on that are shite because the fucking- like, the thing fell. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, like, get some, like, kind of, like, proper adhesive to, like, stick that on there because... Yeah, the suction cups don't work. So, yeah, that's- that's fun. I will deal with that later. Like, it is- I, I'm not gonna deal with it right now because that's gonna take, like, ten minutes to do that. I'll do that after the stream. So, yeah, I, I don't know if the microphone even picked that up. Like, I held it over my headphones, like, something just went boop, 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 boop. It just fell, fucking fell on the ground. We had an explosion at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud, I almost dropped my spores. Uh, excuse me, where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. Oh, yeah, get ready for this. Time for the Mario pantomime show. This is great. I feel the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all of this? So Mario is such a master at pantomiming, he can actually fucking transform into the other characters. <laughs> Spore's alive! You're telling me that Bowser has abducted the princess again? Never mind. It will be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. <laughs> I love that noise. Like Princess Toadstool going, Woo! Again, I, I love I love this like visual humor, like of him just like reenacting the entire thing. Egad! This keep is un unassailable. What awful power is at work here? Mario, her life is in your hands. Please save our dear princess. All right. <laughs> I tried moving there and that happens. Mario. I almost forgot. This may not help you, but 
why don't you take it along? Got a map. Cool. Mario! <laughs> Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare your f prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. I believe there might be a secret around here somewhere, maybe. Could be wrong, but sometimes there's hidden question mark blocks like throughout the game. He's Toad's Wolf. Yeah, he kind of is like Toad's Wolf. Is there any blocks up here? No. The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the Chancellor must feel? Can just... Well, I was going to say I could just sit here, but technically he's standing. Can I not jump up there? No? Okay. Boing. Right, let's go to the basement and see what I can get from there. The vault guard better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. There's something funny you can find in one of these rooms. Mario, the Chancellor has filled me in. Come, let me show you around. Help yourself to these treasures. Alright, so we got... This is a coin. The small ones are worth one and the large ones are worth ten. This one's a ten. The more of these you gather, the more flower points you'll have in battle. Alright, that's cool. So it's essentially just a free flower tab. This mushroom will, re will restore your hit points and flower points. Unfortunately, mushrooms you find as items only restore your HP. So beware. So how much flower points do I have right now? I have 13. I'm just looking around for any potential secrets. Oh yeah, so I bought myself a new controller because my old 8-bit door controller was starting to go south. I mean, it still works, it's just the B button is like like constantly sticking and it, it was really annoying me, so... I bought a Pro 2 8-bit do model thing, what would you call it? An 8-bit do Pro 2 controller, that's what it's called, I think. So I bought one of those. I haven't used it yet, but I did charge it last night. Next time I play a Switch game, I'm gonna give it a shot. Come back here! Who this? Oh yeah, it's this guy. And this guy. Come back here! <laughs> Just constantly chasing him. Nope. Too short, can't reach. Oh no, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin! Ugh. I can't cry. Big boys don't cry. It's just not fair. What am I gonna do? Wah! Wah! Wait, did the toad say anything different because of the weather? Rain or shine, I fulfill my duty. <laughs> Don't know what that reptile's up to, but man can he jump. It was that reptile. He's the one who stole my wallet. But I let him get away. So I'm just seeing flavor text before I talk to the, talk to that guy over there. Rain or shine, I stand watch. But this is getting ridiculous. Nothing back there? Okay. Yes. Gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? I also like that bit of, like, absurdist humour as well, but it's like he's crying so hard that he's making the fucking sky rain. Like, you know, 
that's like how much tears he's crying or something like that. I'm all right now. Sorry, there's nothing like a good cry. But why was I crying? There was some reason. <laughs> Fucking anime pratfall. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. Wow, he doesn't stand a chance. Wow, you're THE Mario? I know all about you. You've got more jump than you in the box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog, can't you believe it? But but can you, can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? Yeah, I'm sure you're a frog. How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Sure. The young frog, Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. Alright, we got our first party member. Let's see his stats. So he is level 2. Next at level 18. Or ne next level at 18, right? Okay. Do you have any accessories on you? Or no, nothing. Right, I need to buy him some shit. Oh wait, that's the end. Hey, Mowell, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Wait until you hear this. You see? Wait, I've already held. Old fro frog... Frog... F How do you pronounce that? Is it Frog Fushis? Old Frog Fushis told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. Listen. The truth of the matter is, well, um... The coins were stolen. What? Well, if, it, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. That's <laughs> that so. Well, if Mario's on your team, you'll have you'll you'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Wait, one coin? Wait, what was he planning to buy with a singular coin? Not so fast. Take this with you. You probably need it. Oh, nice. Got a free uh, phoenix down. You know, I hate to admit it, but I love this job. What are you looking for? Right, okay. This is for Mallow, right. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's get that. Right, so... Status... Nope. Equip. Right, pants for him. Defense and magic defense go up, and... Right, okay, I'm gonna give that to him. Right, let me save the game real quick. Is Mario at full health, or...? Yeah, he is. Right, let's go track down that gator and get our stuff back. Mario, I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me like a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? <laughs> Why, yes, exactly like that. He's the one who took my coin. Why don't you stop? Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh, give me a break here. I wonder what that dialogue would have been in the Japanese version of the game, because I'm pretty sure the fucking Japanese version wouldn't say that. Oh, I would have caught him, but I left my bazooka at home. That sounds like a very fucking American bit of, you know, dialogue. Aha, you mugs will never catch me. A snail, a snail could outrun you morons. Later. Oh. That's him! Hurry, Mario, go get him! Before I go him to him real quick, look, look at this toad. Yum! Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? 
Wait, what? Just give me time to grow into my mother's wedding dress. Oh, holy shit. No. Uh, no, no thanks. No deal. What is it with Nintendo and, like, young characters wanting to marry an older character, like, a few years from now? Like, even, like, that that's... Uh. I hope my grandchild turns out to be, like, the princess. Oh, by the way, I think I remember this easter egg. If you jump on this toad's head and ride on it. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Right, let's go, let's go chase this guy down now that we know where he is. Right, bandit's way. There he is! There he is! He's probably stashed it in that bag. Let's nab him! Are you trying to tell me? Go home to mommy before you get hurt, kids. Also, my throat's a bit sore tonight. Again, a lot of yelling and Sonic colors or Sonic Sonic Generations, sorry. Prior to this. Oh wow, that does a lot of damage. I like the sound of that. Ping pong. See if I can get Mallow to level 3. Yeah, that hammer's really fucking good. Ew, what the fuck is that? A frogog? I don't I don't like that thing's face. That's a very ugly ass frog. And I thought Mallow was a weird looking frog. Oh jeez. Frog has been moided. Right, a few more, a couple more fights, and Mallow should be there. You couldn't jump to save your life, kids. So I guess this is good. This is goodbye. I like how he just grabbed a coin on the way though. Ah oh, shit! Fuck! Wait. Oh, I can still. I can still get up there. I believe there's a secret up here. I think. Is there? Again, there can be, like, hidden stuff if you look for it. I swear, do you think that there'd be a hidden block, like, right here? But I guess not. Oh. Wait, what are these things called? KG? Okay, then. Ping pong. There we go. Oh, 
oh, it's K9, so I thought it was a K in lowercase g, right, I get it, I, or, I'm, I'm a, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was a letter. Oh, nice. Free hit. You very rarely get that. Fangs. If you see the name of the attack, that means... Like, if the name of the attack pops up on screen, that means that's their special attack. Didn't really do that much damage, though, when I blocked it. I guess if I didn't block it, it would have done much more damage. Like, way more than the other regular attacks. Right, I think that's after this fight, uh, Mallow will level up. Ping pong. Attack up. Oh, fuck. Hey. That's a good one to have. So this character's more of a, a magic user than, you know, like a physical fighter. So... I'm gonna increase their HP. I think Mario is close to leveling up as well, so I might as well get that. Oh god, double frog. Max. No idea what you just did there. Did he spit a ball of, like, was that a ball of spit? Didn't do anything to me status-wise, at least. Nice. Right, I think Mario should level up after that. No? Should be close. Uh, yeah. One or two more fights should do it. Once again! You're a little persist. You're a persistent bugger, but I'm like 100 miles ahead of you. Right, either this fight or the next one, and Mario should be leveled up. So yeah, Mavel has like really stretchy hands for some reason. Nice. So what did I do the last time for Mario? We're going to increase that one, actually. Uh, 
How close is Mello to leveling up actually? Because I might try to get him to 4. 27. Might as well fight all the enemies in the, on this screen real quick. Yeah, that one does a lot of damage to those big frog guys. The frog hogs. Alright, so far so good. I won't be playing this for too much longer tonight, partially because my my voice feels a little bit, you know, hoarse at the moment. Just because, you know, I played Sonic Generations earlier tonight and it, let's just say I did a little bit of screaming at that game because uh, a couple levels were bullshit in it, but... Uh, I'll play this for like another 20 or 30 minutes or so, I think I've got that much in me left. Next time I play this, I'll do a more substantial sized session of this game. Hopefully. I don't know, I'll do maybe like 2-3 to three hours per session. Depending. Anyway, um... Alright, oh I don't have any magic left. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys first. Get them out of the way. Nice. Was there something over here? Oh yeah. Maybe at some point in the future we will get a new Mario and Luigi game. It's just a question of who's going to make it, if we do. Because again, Alpha Dream, the original like creators of those games, no longer exist. Wait, did I get my flower points back? Oh shit, I do, nice. I get my HP and flower points restored. Fail. Give it up already! The treasure box is tempting, but now is not the time! Alright, see you later then. I am gonna go for that. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Am I getting experience for this? I'm assuming I got experience for each time I knocked them out. You are getting experience? Okay, well that speeds up the process. I could probably get Mario to level 5 before I have to fight the, the crocodile. Oh, what's this? Wait, what status effect is that? Oh, 
I feel like uh, Mel is going to level up here. Like, after this fight, I mean... Nice. lost one HP, so it's fine. There we go. Hey, there we go. Let's increase... Let's increase magic attack and defense. So, let's see what's Mario up to. So, 16 more points. Yeah, we could probably squeeze that in. I don't know if I'm over-leveled or if I'm, like, under-leveled or if I'm, like, on track. I think when I played this on the Wii Virtual Console, like, over 10 years ago, I think I was under-leveled for a lot of the game. Like, I wasn't doing enough fights. So, what status effect is this, by the way? Like, where your heart explodes? Oh wait, does that make my attacks weaker? I wasn't doing as much damage when that happens. Oh. See, there's another bonus over there. I'm gonna go get that real quick. Nice. Flower. Uh, I think that's an extra flower point. Yes, it is. Dead end! And they won't give up! I'll just have to hide! Oh yeah, this room has no exits, so... I just need to, like, basically corner him, I think. He's gone into hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up behind and catch him. It's only one HP. Wait, where did that Goomba disappear to? That was weird, the Goomba vanished. Nice.
Right, I think Mario is almost there. Just one or two more fights, I feel. Nice. Always good when you can get an HP max in the middle of a fight. Saves your saves your resources, I guess. One <laughs> one XP. Magic attack goes way up if I do this one. Alright, let's go with that then. Oh. Ha! Your eyes are much faster than your feet! At this rate, it'll take you 100 more years to catch me. <laughs> At this rate, it'll take you 50 more years to catch me. You again? This is getting old. It'll still take you... Enough! You got me fair and square. I'll give you back your coin. So wait, it's just one whole coin and not like a bunch of them? Whoa! Did you really believe me? I was lying! Alright, here we go. Mini boss. So this guy's called Croco, by the way. Hema! Ah. Thunderbolt and HP rain. Let's try Thunderbolt. I'm not sure what the timing for that one is. So wait, flower points. Oh, I see. We both we both share the same flower point pool, right? I didn't realize that. I thought we each had our own pool. Right, I should be careful with that then. <laughs> One. Fucking absolutely useless. Right, okay, I guess I'll just use Thunderbolts then. Oh, there's the timing. You do it slightly after the lightning bolt animation ends. Weird mushroom. Ah, shit. Right, I've used up my flower points. Ha! 
Right, I think he's almost dead. Let's see if I can finish him with this. There we go. Give me back my coin, or I'll belt you again. Oh, it's uh, it's one of those green coins, right? Ouch! I'm gonna pay you back in spades, kids. Go on, take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigo. All right, we got it back. Nice. Alright. Forward tab. Yeah, we did it! We got Grandpa's coin back! I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this! That crockle guy left us a wallet! I'm gonna go back to the shop at the Mushroom Kingdom. Are you coming? Oh yeah, they put a shortcut there for you as well. That's convenient. Uh, let's see... Uh, let's not use that shortcut yet. Let me... I guess I could level Mallow up a, a little bit. He's pretty close to level 5, so... We'll do a couple more fights real quick. Isn't there like a really, like... There's a hidden boss fight in this game that's like really bullshit. It's like the hardest boss in the game. And it's supposed to be a Final Fantasy monster or something. It's basically like a Final Fantasy god monster. You will not see me get to that during this playthrough because I, I don't I don't I don't think I have the patience for that kind of thing where it's like a next to impossible fight. Maybe when I finish the game, I will show you like a YouTube video or something, like we can look at that. If someone wants to remind me of that when I like, you know, finish the game. That's the one thing in this playthrough that I'm not even going to attempt. Like I won't dignify it by like attempting it because you, you know exactly how it's gonna go. I'm gonna like fucking die on my first turn. So wait, does Thunderbolt hit all enemies? Guess I'll find out. Oh, ah shit. I don't know if that affects my magic stats or if it's like all my stats go down. Oh, it does target everyone? Right, that's cool. Yeah, I think that does make my, my magic attack go down as well when I'm in that status. Whatever you call that. Maybe it's fear? I don't, I don't know what that's, that's called. fight, I think. I've got like one HP, one one XP left. Four. Okay, well, one or two more fights should do it. Is that a spring still there? 
Yeah, it still is, right. Just so I know, know there's a quicker way, like, because I wasn't sure if it was going to despawn if I left that room, because the developers would expect you to, like, you know, go to the spring as soon as you beat the boss, but no, it's fine, it's still there. Like, part of me was expecting the, the spring to be completely despawned if I left the room, but no, they, they remember. The game remember, remembers it being there. God, look at that weak-ass attack. Okay, now, now I'm down to fucking one experience left. That's the, I can't believe that's the second time tonight that's happened. But I'm one experience short. Once again! I thought that was going to be another, like... <laughs> Once again, that would have been great. No, to fucking abolish him. 64, nice. I mean, it's not 69, but, you know, Nintendo 64. That's what I was thinking of there. Right, let's see, what do I want? I guess I can increase his power. Wait a minute. Considering he has the lightning bolt attack, I think it'd be, it'd be it would be in my best interest to like increase his magic attack. So let's do that. Right. Okay, we're good now. Let's go back to Toad Town. I mean, Mushroom Kingdom. So in this game, Mushroom Kingdom isn't like a giant area. It's just like a small town <laughs> for some reason. There we go. Oh. You can see some shit's gone down here. The town has been invaded by Shy Guys on... I was about to say Shy Guys on stilts, but it's pogo sticks. Oh, wow. Oh. Alright, so you just get into fights as soon as you touch them. Oh, sorry, they're not, they're not shy guys, they're called shysters. Like, look. <laughs> that, what a funny name. HP Max. I need to find that guy that's missing his wallet so I can give it back to him. Because I think I'll get something in return for doing that. Hey Mario, look what you're standing in. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're in the middle of being under attack and you, you, you just fucking joke around. Alright then, fuck you. Bitch. Might as well help these toads before we go see the Chancellor. Shysters are in the buildings as well, not just the castle. Thanks, Mario. I'll continue to stand and watch, but now everyone seems suspicious. By the way, look what I found. Oh, nice. Extra coinage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's terrified. Excuse me? You want to... What? How can you shop at a time like this? Just take what you want and leave some money behind. Oh, so wait, wait, what's this? 
I order you to stand before me. Okay then. Now I order you to jump. Oh, okay. Now I order you to jump. In this world there are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. I wonder if there's any more in this room. Nah, it's just that one. Right, let me see if I can... Might as well buy the jumping shoes now since I've got ample money. There's an extra hidden block on top of that one. Wait, really? No. Doesn't seem like it. I know where one hidden block is hidden in this town, because it's kind of like sneakily placed, and you can only get it during this part of the game. You'll see it in a couple minutes once I'm done taking care of these guys. level up again because of this. That was too darn close. Thanks for the hand, Mario. Hey, that's the wallet the crocodile sw sw swiped from me. Can I have it back? <laughs> sure. I love that it just gives you the option for shit like that where it's like, no, no. Thank you so much. Here, I'll give you this as a reward. Go on now, take it. Oh, nice. Definitely worth it. It's scary outside, so let's play indoors, alright? But I want to play outside. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time. Is there anything in here? No. Oh. It doesn't hurt to look. Oh, so I just realised this battle music fits perfectly with, like, Henry Stickman over there. Oh, that's pretty good. Was the princess kidnapped by those things outside? Are they a part of this? What's this toad doing? Oh, shut up. Oh? Don't talk to me now. What's he doing? Oh, is he playing on a Game Boy? Is that what he's doing? Oh no, look! I lost because of you! Yeah, he's playing on a Game Boy. <laughs> Why don't you crash for a while? It'll only cost you three coins. Uh, I'll wait until I've cleared all the shysters first and then I'll do that. Oh, that's weird. I can't stand on top of the flowers. Oh yeah, apparently there's a shanty sale going on right now where all the shanty games are 50% off. So if you've never played a shanty game but you've always wanted to get into the series, then now's a pretty good time to do so. See? I'm wide awake! Now I guess it's time for me to win BIG CASH! What? Okay. Is there a gambling place in this town, or what? Oh, for fuck's sake. I- I wonder. No, there's nothing above her.
Oh shit. More shysters. I like how there's a, there's actually like a battle arena inside like a house. There's one more house you missed. Where is the house? It's the one the shyster was jumping on? Right. What a weird name for a fireball. Drain. I guess the, the, the person in charge of localizing fucked up that day. I feel like the, the name Drain is like a translation error or something. Like it's a literal translation of a Japanese word or something, but it doesn't make any sense when translated to English. Thanks, Mario. What about my son upstairs? Oops. I forgot all about him. Well, you're a really fucking good parent. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Now this guy can jump. I love how the fucking dad is just like terrified. I'm scared. What if I join you? Yeah, rave party! Alright, let's beat the shit out of him. I'm not sure what the timing for that one is. I, like, I, keep, I keep missing it. There we go. Really, thank you so much for everything. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Oh, nice. Definitely helps to do shit like this so you can get more flower points. You're going to grow up just to be like Mario, you hear? Yeah! How many times have I done that fucking joke tonight? Quality recycle jokes all day, every day. 100 years, Morty. Uh, I feel like I was gonna do something, what was it? Oh yeah, check the other house, right. Oh Jesus. How close am I to leveling up, actually? Right, Mario's not that far from level 6. I hear, I hear a shyster, but I don't see him. Is he in the toad house? No? Wait, was there a house I missed? I don't think I missed a house. Wait, there is?
Wait, well, it's not that house. Nope. No, I think I, I think I went into every house. No. Pretty sure I went into every single house. That house didn't... Wait, this house? No, that this house is fine. Yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing over there. I've been in this house. Yeah, no, there's nothing here. I've checked all the houses. The only place I haven't been to yet is the Chancellor's building. We're gonna go in there in just a moment. Fucking hell. Might as well beat the shit out of these guys real quick. Yeah, that Thunderbolt's pretty strong. Pretty good pretty good attack to get this early in the game. When it can attack all enemies. Right, I'm gonna let these guys rest up real quick. I believe there's an Easter egg coming up. I think. Like sometimes if you sleep you might see a certain cameo or like appearance. Okay, no, this is not. Maybe it happens later in the game, or it's like purely random, but sometimes there's a cameo, like, when you, like, rest up. You'll probably see it at some point in the game, I'm not sure when it happens, or if it's like a random chance. If it doesn't happen, I'll just eventually tell you what it is. Right, okay, I, I bought my stuff here already. Oh yeah, I haven't equipped the thing, I forgot. Hang on. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to save my game. Do that real quick. Right, let's go to the Chancellor's building. What about the flower tabs? Wait, do I have spare flower tabs I haven't used yet? Oh, you're right, I haven't used these. Fuck. Oh, nice. Thanks for reminding me. See, when it said that I had flower tabs, I thought it just automatically applied it, but no, you have to like actually put it on manually, so... It's kind of weird, like, why don't, don't they just like apply that for you on your behalf? It's like, what, what else would you do at it, with it? Just stare at it? Not so fast, pal! Look at him, he can't even bounce! Hey, maybe we could bounce on his head! Shyster time. What are those things out there anyway? Oh no, the Chancellor's still in the throne room. I'm scared. You may not sleep in the princess's bed. Have you no manners? Hey look, it's it's Proto Toadsworth. Also, did he just heal me? Yeah, I got healed up. Right, so if I need healing, I'll just talk to him real quick. Oh. I think, uh... I forgot, was it Mario or Mallow that's about to level up? Like, one of them's close to leveling, so... Might as well do that real quick. Drain! I don't think you can block that attack. Like, I've tried multiple times and I can't seem to time it. I guess there's just some special attacks that you cannot block for some reason.
Should have just used Thunderbolt. Yeah, next time I'll, I'll use that. So there's rumours going around that that GoldenEye remaster or whatever is going to be released very soon. So I'm hoping that's true. Would be nice to see that. Oh nice, super jump. So I think the super jump is you can keep attacking the enemy as long as you time your button press, but eventually it stops, like the window gets narrower every time and eventually there's like a cap to it. So. You can get potential you can potentially get lots of damage with it if you time it right. Uh what do I want here? Hmm. I think I want more HP actually. Oh, oh. That vault guard, I came here to save him and he runs into the next room. Well, so much for him. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did I get another flora thing? I, I don't know if I got an extra one there. I'm assuming I did. Never mind that. Guess what I found? It's a gold coin. A gold coin and it's all mine. Oh, I found this in the cellar. Here, you can have it. Got a wake up pin. see. Wake up pin. Prevents mute and sleep attacks. Um, I suppose I can give that to Mallow. Yeah. Plus that gives him more defense and magic defense. Yeah, we'll have him wear that. Ah! So I'm, I'm trying not to talk to him. Right, I think we're about ready to take on the boss fight now. Just gonna get around those guys. Right, here we go. Where'd you think everyone went? Well, gang, looks like we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce around all day long, and there's no one here who can stand in our way. 
Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away! Boing. Fenna boing. Listen up, gang! These guys are gonna put a stop to our party! Are we happy about this? <clears throat> oh god, I should be doing that voice right now. Sorry, my throat's a little bit hoarse. You're asking for it. Oh, you're gonna get it. You picked the wrong people not to bounce with, bub. How about a fat lip to go with that ugly mustache? Oh, here we go. Boss time. Right, so this boss is called Mac. Right, let's get rid of the these guys. This will do. Oh fuck. Mistimed it. Yeah, I don't think you can block that at all. I've tried and it doesn't seem to work. Mac is stunned. Oh, that's good. Again, the, the music in this game is great. Like, the boss music is a banger. Flame wall. Nice, that didn't really do much, did it? I think I may be over leveled, considering that it's only doing one damage. Nice. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Flame. Yeah, that one cannot be blocked, I don't think. Ah, oh, shit. Oops. Nice. Okay, so there's a mechanic in this game where if you use an item, there's a small chance you get the item back for free. So when it says you get a freebie, that means that I, I basically got, I used that for free, and I get an extra one in its place. So with that, I am going to use Thunderbolt. Get rid of these guys again. The shysters. Oh, nice! Yeah, I think I was overleveled actually, that was easy. Like, I had this expectation that if I didn't beat every enemy along the way, I'd get my ass handed to me by the boss, but no, that was... That was surprisingly easy. So yeah, I think I may be slightly over-leveled at this point, but that's okay. It's only the first boss. I wasn't expecting, like, Mallow to finish Mac off there, like, I was just trying to get rid of the Shy Guys. Oh yeah! Right, there you go, there's the first legendary star. One down, six to go. Yeah, it will get harder. I think it will balance itself out. Alright. That takes care of Mac. This is not good. This is not good. The mustachioed one's too strong. Strong, yes. We must warn the boss. Come on! Alright, there you go. There they go. He's <laughs> just standing over there in fear. Wouldn't it be funny if there was a head and flower tap just above his head? I wish I could stand on... I, I wish I could, like, sit slash stand on this chair. Then I could pretend I'm the Chancellor. 
Gracious! Oh, it's you, Mario. What a relief! Once again, Mario to the rescue. But who were those? Chancellor! Sir, thank goodness you're all right. Mario, so it was you who got us through all of this. We owe you so much. By the way, I've seen this game sped run, and it's possible to grab the first star without fighting Mac. Like, if you jump at just the right angle, you can go around the trigger point that starts the first boss fight. So, yeah, if you if you ever, like, watch a speedrun, you're probably going to see that. It's pretty funny. First the princess and now this. It's just too much to bear. Mario. How about we ask my grandpa for, for help? He knows everything. Excuse me, but who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, hello. My name is Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. Well, any friend of Mario's is welcome here in the Mushroom Kingdom. As I was saying, Mario, you are our only hope. Mario, please, you must rescue the princess. Now! Mario, I'm in your debt, too. Let's head over to Grandpa's place in Tadpole Pond. He can help. Wait. Why did I even come to Mushroom, the Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess I'll find out soon enough. Oh yeah, he totally forgot he had to, like, buy something at the shop. Kudmak, the salt-like monster who crashed into the Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario just found? Our heroes move on toward Kiro Sewers. Or Kero Sewers. I think Kero is Japanese for frog. Right, can, can, um, wait a minute, before I save the game, can Mallow spend his, like, green coin now? Hey, Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Wasn't that fucking long ago that he was cowering in fear? Hey, mister, I got my coin back. Well done, lad. Okay, here's the thing I promised you. There, make sure it doesn't get stolen, eaten, or whatever. Your grandpa needs it, okay? You got cricket pie. You bet. Mario, thank you so much. Grandpa will be delighted. Alright. Sorry, I just wanted to see that one more time. Right, I think this is a good place to stop for now, so I am going to save here. Right, we've got one star and we're at level six. Again, I think I'm slightly over-leveled, but I think, you know, it'll balance itself out. Like, the game does get harder as you go along. Right, how do I, how do I, like, um, leave the game on the SNES Mini? Do I press the reset button? Oh yeah, right, okay, so that's how you do it. Oh. Can I not, <laughs> can I not make a save? Uh... I hope... Hmm. That's weird. Please tell me the game actually saved. If it didn't, I'm gonna have to replay all of that. Uh-oh. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I, th I thought I fucked up there. I'm not sure why I couldn't make a save state, but the, at least the internal battery saved. Right, okay then, well there you go. Right, okay, with that I can turn the system off now. Right, so thank you guys for watching me play uh, Super Mario RPG. The game still holds up, it's still got, you know, a lot of great humour and, like, dialogue that I really enjoy, so... 
I will do some more of that soon. I would have played a bit more of it tonight, but my throat is a little bit sore after, like, you know, the, the game I, that I played prior to this. So I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to do some more Super Mario RPG uh, probably later this week. Like, what day is it today? It is Tuesday. Yeah, I'll, I'll do at least one more stream of that. I'll do at least one more stream of it. Uh, some point later this week. I'm not sure which day yet, but stick around for that. That will happen at some point. 